हेलो 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 गाइस वेलकम बैक टू स्ट्रीम हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्ट्रीम हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू स्ट्रीम hope you can hear me so good morning all right yes good morning everyone so i'll show you so this picture here uh, we going to recreate this one in unreal engine 5 okay we i already made this in unreal engine 4 so i decided to recreate okay this uh, interior thing I mean the Paris interior. We will recreate this in Unreal Engine Five. Okay, <coughs> I'm going to model these pillars and the structure, everything, and uh, we will export to Unreal Engine Five. Okay, then we will render it there. Okay, I will place it here. So, guys, let's do this. So you can uh, export this character from uh, Unreal Engine. Okay, then I'll show you. You can, uh, please, okay. you can place it here for this uh, height, uh, height value. So you can adjust it right here. So you don't have to uh, come back here every time to uh, adjust the height uh, and. Uh, measurements every time so i'm going to place this here and then i'm going to freeze it so it won't click okay uh, javid evos and extra welcome to the stream everyone hi bro hi 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 i am ui5 beginner okay bro i am also a beginner ui5 can we get your used models in this project okay bro once we finish this uh, i will Upload it somewhere so you guys can download it. Okay. So everyone, welcome to stream again. So I am gonna uh, start the. I am gonna model this pillar. Okay. This one, this one. I'll pillar first. Okay. Okay. So I am gonna model this pillar with the. I will start with this cylinder. Okay, I'll click it. Maybe this much width. Okay. Then I will open the material editor. I am gonna make it two different materials. Okay, this one will be the white one. For the pillars, then this one will be the gold. I may not unwrap the UV. I might uh, only use the Unreal Engine material. So, okay. Anyway, let uh, let's see. I'm gonna use this white color. This one is gold, so I'm gonna uh, change to yellow color here. Okay. This one or the pillars. Okay, here we don't need this height segments now. I'm gonna adjust the height a little bit. Maybe the sides around twenty. Yes, twenty is enough. Okay, then the radius maybe a little low. Okay, this enough. Little bit height. Okay. So now I'm gonna make a box for the base for the pillar. Right. Sorry. Like this. This one also this white material. I'm gonna apply it. Hi, Sirian. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay.
I'm going to adjust the height, width and everything for this uh, base part of the pillar. So, like this. Like this. Okay. I'm going to duplicate by hold out, holding down shift like this. I'm going to add three different um, whatever you call this one. With it. Okay, like this. I'm going to convert this one to editable poly, then save it before it crash maybe. Okay, <coughs> select face. I'm not going to add three different ones, I'm going to extrude it to a, a different shape, okay. Like this. Then we will select these edges by holding down control, okay, then double click. Then extrude it again with uh, local normal. Okay. Maybe a little bit height here. Then I am going to extrude it again, okay. Like this. I will see. Okay, maybe we can add some designs uh, for the pillar, like uh, show you. Not the pillar, this base thing here. I'm gonna um, chamfer these edges, okay, like this. Okay. See, so it might uh, won't look like just a box. Okay, this one also. HM first okay something like that okay maybe I should I think reduce the size sorry Reduce the size of this part like this. Now set it again. So that's for the base thing. So now I am gonna change this pillar design also. Okay. I think I should uh, increase the height of the pillar, right? Like this. Okay, here I'm gonna give it, I will place it here. Okay, I'm gonna change the pillar. Okay, wait, let me duplicate it. I'm going to change the pillars uh, design, convert to editable body and add an extra edge shift loop here like this. Then we will extrude it, okay, this part by like this. I'm going to extrude it to a local normal. My sound is clear, right, Arion? Then I will move this edge like this or maybe chamfer this one like this or not right just like this then I think I should um, change the pillar to this 
like this. Wait. How does it look? Uh, no, 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 we don't. We're not doing that. Okay. So I'm gonna add a diff. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna change the design one more time with this edge loop. Mm, select it so, or like this then extrude it okay oh no no right no, we'll isolate it for now mm, i will select these faces like this so I should, oh, three here and yeah, this one this one um, this one okay then i am going to insert this then i will extrude it Okay, so like this, wait it. I will make a copy to say okay. Okay, extrude it like this, then maybe what if we delete this one? Okay. I'm gonna delete this uh just on this one sorry sorry again oh shit we'll select okay we'll do like this You can delete these edges by uh, pressing control plus backspace, okay? Okay. Muhammad Khali, welcome to stream. Hi, I'm from India. Okay, welcome to stream. So, we deleted those edges uh, and I'm going to go to top. Select these. Okay, like this. I'm going to select these edges together. Okay, once we model finish the model, we will export under the region. Okay, so then I'm gonna move it like this. Then we will chamfer this. Okay, no, it's a bad design. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that bad. Okay. It's uh, better than nothing anyway. I'm gonna keep it like this. Maybe we should... No. Keep it, keep the pillar like this, okay. Mm. 
और भाई मोदिस एडजस बिलो ओके सो दैट्स फॉर द पिलर आई गोना स्केल इट अगेन uh michael welcome to stream bro uh hey for so this we 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 are here bro uh thanks bro thanks for thanks for the support bro love you okay i'm going to keep this so this will be your pillar so as this a backup so i'm going to move there I will save a copy again. Mm, like this, okay. Now I'm gonna duplicate this, okay, whole thing, like this. Just for uh, just to make our this arch thing, I will show you a resolve photo. See this one. This one, this is symbol arch. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to the front view. Then I will go to the spline section. Okay. Sorry, shapes. Then I will just select. this uh, arc thing i'll show you you can create an arc with this i'm going to select this then click it here then do not leave it uh, do not uh, is hold okay don't don't leave this then hold on shift it won't work so i will i'll it this so i'm going to uh, toggle this uh, grid snap then i'm going to draw this like see then I leave the click then maybe maybe place it here uh, to finish it just uh, click on more time okay then we have now we have this arch thing Okay, I will change it to rectangular. Now, uh, then we will adjust the height uh, with the okay like this. Then we will change this material to height. Okay, then maybe you should change the um, sides. So see uh, six now. I'm gonna change it to forty. Then I will save it again. Okay, we don't need this much uh, depth. I mean the uh, width. I'll change to this, and a little bit length also. Okay, I will. I will make a copy of this as a backup. Okay. Now I'm gonna select this again. This data will check the picture. Okay. Maybe a little more. this okay i'm going to convert this one to editable body we will click uh, before that i will click this uh, generate mapping codes okay i'm going to convert to editable body 
when i select the part then we will select this area okay this on the then i will deselect this bottom part we don't need this now so Okay. okay okay we selected it so i'm going to extrude okay extrude with this local normal like this maybe this much wait okay maybe this much okay like this then down here i'm gonna make this make uh, make this uh, extruder part to uh i'll show you oh, maybe this one x nope okay and then i will move this extruder part to the top okay then i will align these uh, sides to left side this one to the right side make this okay once you done that i'm gonna reduce these edges okay wait i will select these vertices uh, right here like this uh, except these uh, these corners uh. then uh, here i'm gonna choose this uh, weld option okay wait me for that i will deselect this area and I'm gonna weld everything. Okay, I'll show you now. Select it. We not that much. No, we will weld these these vertexes. okay so then <coughs> i will add a symmetry to uh, i'll show you see we don't have to wedge the others sorry uh, weld the other side okay uh, i will collapse everything then if i delete this one Wait, we check. Roll set. If I delete these, um, we don't need these parts here. Yes, just to delete these uh, unbounded vertexes, okay? We don't need it. okay just like that okay i'm gonna save it again now i'm gonna extrude uh, this side okay so you double click to select everything so i'm gonna go back to the front view then deselect the other side okay like this 
But then you insert it a little bit like this. Like this. Then maybe extreme this or bevel it. No, no, I'm going to extrude it. Then I will change the size, okay, by manually. I'm going to see extrude it. I'm going to ch uh, change the size like this. Okay. They uh, say Unreal Engine 5 polycon doesn't matter, so. I'm not going to optimize it, okay? So we can check it. We okay. We'll keep it like this. Here I'm gonna do something. I'll show you. No. Okay, I will insert this area, okay. Select this angle to so No, check this option to select this whole area by one click. Okay, it will select this with this 45 degree. See so if I click one more time, it won't select the back side. Okay, so if I can uncheck it, then I will wait. No, no. I'm going to insert it, try to insert it. Okay. If I bevel it a little bit. Let me see. Make this. This looks fine, right? I think so. Yeah, it looks fine. See, we don't uh, have any smoothing groups here. So I will select these edges like this. The face and for this areas. See. Now we have these edges. Sorry, it's smoothing groups. Okay. We will for this area a bit. Okay, like that. 
maybe this area also what happened here I'm gonna build this one to here okay so we don't see any artifacts Okay, it looks fine right here. Here we have this unused vertex, okay. I had to remove it. Okay. I'm gonna connect this one to this edge, okay. To do that, we can cut, uh, select this vertex, then we have this cut option with this one i'm going to select it click that vertex then connect to this uh, edge okay now uh, then i'm going to build this one to this Hope it uh, okay and the other side of the ship. So I am gonna uh, add a symmetry so I don't have to do it. one more time. No. see it's okay now we'll make a copy again now i'm gonna build this one okay that's for our arts So now okay, I think we need to sorry. We'll do this one to here. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, it's finished. I think we have the arch. Okay, I'm going to save it again. Uh, now we have to what is I think we uh, almost uh, done the modeling. So now I have to change this material, okay, for this part, uh, this, this part here. Uh, I'm going to change the material to this gold one. 
maybe except this part then maybe right here here i'm gonna add extra this sign right here i will extrude it a little bit Okay, then I'm gonna put delete this one. I'm gonna chamfer this one, okay? Okay, then I will select these faces like this. Wait, like this, and then I'll grow it. I'll change the material to gold one. Okay. For the arch, uh, we will wait uh, a check. Uh, we will add a gold material with. The wait, where should we add border material? Oh, maybe this part right here. Like a border or something. See what maybe this area. Okay, like that. Hold on. I'm gonna extrude this uh, one more time, okay? Like uh, this, I'll show you. Like this, then I will extrude this to front. Like this. One more time, I'm going to extrude this by selecting this angle thing. Make sure, just make sure we don't, we didn't select any other places. We don't need that much. Okay, I'm going to uh, desize and I'm going to extrude this one more time, right? like this and i will select these edges um, then i what if i change this like this okay and this edge also i'm gonna add a little bit Okay, it looks fine. Like I'm gonna add uh, the symmetry one more time for this uh, back side. Okay, see like this. Okay. Don't collapse it. Okay. Okay. Next part, uh, we want to add one more uh, this arch type. Uh, like I will show you. I'm gonna go to this shape thing and uh, and I will draw a line like this. Okay. Wait. like this like a rectangle or we can 
start with this rectangle that means uh, the name going to delete uh, that's sorry name going to convert to editor spline and now you will delete this segment okay mm, i'm going to select these vertexes and change it to corner then down here we can curve these edges sorry vertexes like this and i will weld these vertex uh, like this uh, and i will change the mis material to white maybe a little bit width and height Okay, I'm gonna uh, do the same thing just like this. We just like we did uh, for this thing, uh, arch. Okay, now I'm gonna convert to editable poly, then save this project again. Select this side and, and, and select this area. Guys, okay, so don't forget like, share, and subscribe. Okay, like this. What? Okay, then I will extrude this part to with the local normal like this. Then I'm gonna wait um, to check. I will unselect this part. Then I will uh, change the al align of this uh, selection, okay, like this, uh, select it, then change it to Y, okay, and move this part to the top a little bit. Then we will align these sides also by selecting to X, X right, yes, just make sure it's X, okay. Uh, and again i'm gonna build these uh, vertexes okay i'm gonna uncheck this corner okay and select this corner okay i'm gonna save it again so because i trust max okay i'm gonna build okay uh, like this like this come on guys okay like this one more time i'm gonna build the way and selecting okay and then i'm gonna add i'm gonna uh, go a little fast okay so because i can't wait to try this in unreal engine 5 see so i'm gonna add a little uh, symmetry here Okay, then then okay, we are symmetry. Then I will collapse it. Then we will remove this uh, edge by control plus backspace. Then I'm gonna delete these unwanted vertexes here. okay then we will extrude this area one more time to like this guys nice. don't forget to like share subscribe so one more time i'm going to extrude it uh, like this okay maybe for the front too okay i'm going to jump for these areas right Shit. Okay, 
okay see this happens every time so i'm gonna weld okay this because we are symmetry last time it uh, didn't <coughs> weld so i'm gonna select these vertexes and i'm gonna weld a little bit maybe on point one then if i select these edges still won't work so i will go back again weld like this some more time if i check once again it won't work nice so i will let's see okay shit I think we need to go back okay before extrude can we go back yes okay <clears throat> Here we will check for this. Uh, okay, it's working fine. Okay, anyway, we'll we'll do one more time. Okay, okay, like this. And then if I extrude it again. Then if I check this one, see there is problem. So I'm gonna build it again. Shit. Okay, I have an idea. Think I will add one more time this symmetry here. Then. Okay, not this side. I'm gonna move it a little bit closer. Okay, like a small window. I'm gonna collapse it. Then if I uh, extrude this area right here. Then if I, okay, it's working but not here so nice okay we will operate inside we, we will delete this unwanted parts okay then we will weld it together these vertexes or this side also i think yes okay side uh, working fine maybe wait i will try to weld these parts okay. but it don't work so i'm gonna open it again delete these inside parts so i'm going to the stream okay it should be working fine now i'm gonna select this side okay still not connecting Okay, something wrong, something wrong. Maybe I should weld uh, these edges like this. I 
Mas... Ok, it's working fine, right? I'm gonna kind of select uh, with uh, select all the text like this and build everything. Okay. Then if I connect, yes, it's working fine. Okay. Thank God. Okay, I'm gonna select uh, sorry extrude this uh, face like this then select the top again and extrude it a little bit then extrude the front part uh, one more time then we will extrude sorry champ for or we will this uh edges like this okay so we have this small window part of our, for our palace uh, i'm gonna place it here maybe a little bit Okay, now I will add one more time this symmetry. Say night on uh, what? Uh, okay, we don't need that. I'm gonna flip this side and I will move it to each. Then I will move it to right side like this. Okay, and I will copy the symmetry one more time. Then I will paste it, and I will move it here. Okay, maybe it will do. Okay. Just like that. Okay, we'll make a copy to save. One more time. I'll save it again. And I'll collapse to it all fully. So that's for our pillar and everything. Now I am gonna uh, export everything, okay? So I didn't uh, drop the UV, so I will, anyway, I will check it uh, inside Unreal Engine, okay? So I am gonna export it. Uh, I will, okay, we have to convert this part to editable poly. Maybe uh, select these. Uh, board sorry edges and jam for it like this okay then i will attach everything okay click it sorry attach uh, this part okay okay this is our pillar okay this one is our arch okay, i'm gonna leave it here okay i will delete this pillar for now okay okay mm, here our window part we mm, wait a little bit Uh, please making the tutorial for Houdini. Houdini, okay. I'm not sure. I will try anyway. Okay, okay. 
ओके गाइस आई थिंक आई वी नीड टू वी डोंट नीड टू चेंज द मटेरियल फॉर दिस ओके आई एम गोना यूज दिस वाइट मटेरियल फॉर दिस विंडो ओके नाउ आई एम गोना चेंज दिस पिवोट फॉर एवरी पार्ट uh come here right to this uh, hierarchy option right here then click this affect pivot only okay make sure you toggle this uh, snap toggle what is called a yes, star snap toggle then send it to object or you can just uh, click and drag this to a vertex okay okay one more time sorry another thing we have uh, make sure you have enabled this option i'll show you uh toggle this option then right click on it make sure you check this vertex option okay or else it won't uh, snap to toggle sorry snap to this vertex so for this one i'm gonna keep the pivot here for the pillar i'm gonna keep here okay now i'm gonna make place it on the ground or the center of the grid right like this feel like this now i'm gonna export everything okay I am gonna export this pillar. Select it. Uh, come to this option. Export. Export selected. Desktop. Create a folder called Palace or something. And we'll keep it to the default. Make sure. Uh, I am gonna uh, export to uh, as of FPX. Okay. See this one. I'm gonna call it SM underscore pillar. Export it. Make sure uh, you have enabled this smoothing groups. Okay. Export. Okay, that's gone. I'm gonna uh, export this uh, arch. Export selected. Okay, SM. SM for a static mesh. Okay. Okay, now for this window part, export selected. Yes, some window right. Okay, window. Okay. Amrit, welcome to stream, bro. Hi, bro. What's up? Welcome to stream, bro. I think we forgot to uh, create a floor and the windows. Okay. Okay, we will keep this one hidden. Okay, I'm gonna uh, select uh, this height selection option. Everyone, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So I'm gonna create a floor okay uh, or we can use uh, plane from the uh, unreal engine inside unreal engine i think we don't need the floor right and you will create a letter okay now we need uh, this windows right one window Yes, we need a window, guys. So I'm gonna go to this front view. I will create a plane, okay? Mm, this one. Okay, this plane. Then I will. Convert to this one to editable body. Or before that, I will add two segments here. Then I will convert to editable body. 
I will add extra element, sorry, edge here. Okay. Name inset this part right here, like this. Okay. Then delete it. Okay, now this one just look just like a sorry, just a plain. So I'm gonna add a shell modifier here. And I'm gonna uh, adjust the depth of the model. Okay, like this, then I will collapse it. Turn uh, it editor for again, then. I'm gonna select these and just okay. And then I chamfer this part like this with a few more edges, maybe a little like a Okay, maybe this works. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. Then we will delete these unwanted vertexes right here. We delete. Then need to delete the whole thing. So I'm gonna undo this. Okay, I'm gonna select this one. Delete. Nope. Not just delete. So I'm gonna undo again. I'm gonna move this one to here and this one to here. Pinabu, thanks for subscribing. Try build right, yeah. Wait, one more time. Okay, I think we need to uh, build these parts like this. Yes, 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 bro. Like, sorry, it's not bro. Yes, we should have build it. Okay. Okay. So for this, for the back side, we are going to do the same. We will build this part, then this with this. Okay, we have uh, one more unwanted vertex right here or somewhere. See, I'm gonna build. Okay. See this one. So. It. Try remodeling the line. It's working fine now. It's okay. We don't need to do that. Okay, it's our window. So I'm gonna uh, add a, this uh, a design for this to sorry this window. Maybe a few lines or the glass. Wait, me think. Okay, if I, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna uh, draw a line here like this. Okay, and I'm gonna enable this in viewport and change it to. Uh, Khalid, uh, thanks for subscribing. Change it to radial. Then material also to white. No, it's uh, our window still right. I'm gonna change it to different material. Black. Black. Okay, should be black. No. 
this. Nice one second. Okay, so triangle, I will show, uh, sorry, triangle will create problem. Yeah, triangles will create problem only if you are animating or something, okay. I know we have this uh, unwanted vertexes here, see, we have this here, I will, I will connect to these edges, so, sorry, vertex to, okay, to other. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, if you are doing for an environment or something, triangles and doesn't matter actually. So, if, but if you are animating, it will be a huge problem. So, doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna create this uh, circle thing. With, uh, not radius and interpolation to okay that's it. okay maybe one more time no nope. i'm gonna come back to virtual body and i will use symmetry here we okay then i will move it to the top nope i will flip it then i will move it to the top okay i'm gonna copy this thing again and paste it so you move it to the top to like this okay and if i pay it if i uh, rotate this one here will be a, another design for us so see then if I paste one more time this symmetry then I will rotate it again we like this if I paste it again and will rotate it again and move it to the right side it will be a design we never imagine like this or you can just move everything below no this area is empty so i'm going to make a border or something or not i'm going to collapse it okay Uh, say copy go to the front view then go to this plane sorry line here to here 
then then i click on okay then i'm gonna right click then click smooth I'm going to change the materials to black or wait I will change to gold okay we'll keep it here uh, move this part to a little bit side I'm going to duplicate this one, then copy. And I'm going to rotate like this. Okay. Okay, anyway, that's it. Okay, I'm going to attach everything. Attach to this one, this one, this one. One. okay so for the bottom part I'm gonna create a rectangle like this make this uh, with a little bit in width and white material sorry black material and i will then i will then i will by select i will try something i don't i'm not sure i will try okay from to this here Yes. Okay. It's also this black material. We change the length. Okay. Then if I Okay, free free. Add a circle. Okay, free. Add a circle here. No, sort circle. Triangle. No triangle is actually quads. One, two, three, four. Right. Yes. Then if I add a symmetry like. Like this, we'll move it through here. Maybe do play, sorry, copy it, paste one more time, like this. or not yes eat yes okay collapse everything editable to poly so editable to poly no no convert to editable poly Change the material again. Okay, I'm gonna attach this one, this one, this one, okay. 
also i'm going to delete this uh, back face okay we don't need it i think or wait i'll keep it i'm gonna change the material to white then we will inset this part little bit we can no no we don't need it. we can make a ring here add two more and just also for this side okay we will add a design or something later if we can so i'm going to attach this one everything okay i'm going to change the pivot also like this and i'm going to yeah, move it to the center of the grid then i will export okay export to our android engine okay yes some wall not wall yes some wall one okay we wanna Uh, I'm gonna duplicate this. We need a different wall uh, without window, so I'm gonna duplicate it. Uh, delete everything except uh, except the window. I'm gonna go to the front view. We don't need. Okay, I forgot to connect to these vertexes. Sorry. I'm going to delete for this uh, one. Okay. Okay, we don't need this window for this one. Uh, I'm going to connect to these. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to bridge these parts. Sorry, edges, bridge this one to this one. Bridge, okay. Then I will export this one as a wall, different wall, okay. Export selected, SM wall, SM wall, wall two. Okay. Right section. I'm gonna connect to this. Edge, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna select uh, everything then build now if I connect this one to this 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 one to this uh, and so this Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for back side. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna export it soon. Sorry, I opened the under engine soon.
Okay, I will export, re export uh, this window more one, right? You want to export it? Okay. Wait. So it will take some time to open it, I think. We export everything, right? Maybe we should create a plane. Uh, okay, let me see. For the floor. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, it's coming. Okay, this is the problem with Android Engine. It takes uh, sometimes take uh, longer when you open it for the first time of the day. Okay, so I think we need to find the textures, right? Okay, and range is opening. So maybe I didn't unwrap it. Okay, unwrap the UV. So and uh, I didn't model this chandelier, this lamp thing. So I'm gonna use this white and gold materials. Uh, maybe I will use the uh, texture only for the floor. Okay. See, there's a decal inside. Oh, it's coming. I'll close this for now. So guys, where are you from? Just comment, okay? I just want to know you guys are from US location. Everyone from India or not? Anyone? Please tell your locations, okay? I mean, the uh, okay, I'm from Punjab. Hi, bro. Look, uh, Paul, I'm just checking because pop up on the side of her. <laughs> okay, bro, thanks for joining the stream. Okay, here I'm gonna open our last test project, okay? Um, should we open X? We will open it. Okay. Anyone else? Yes. So now we have to create the materials. I have to create some folders and you can have to export some uh, export the models 
then adjust the lights uh, then then maybe some post process effects uh, then arrange everything anyway thanks for joining guys so we have this okay i'm gonna delete this sorry everything from this we put not everything these models only i'm gonna delete everything lighting no block to block to block to some time for two later landscape we don't need landscape i am going to delete the landscape also okay maybe this pillar right here where do put background background okay i'm gonna save everything so here i'm gonna create a new folder okay on the content side create new folder called palace open it uh, i'm gonna create another folder with the meshes then materials materials i think that's enough uh, maybe maps or maybe text is okay so now i'm gonna import this uh Butter meshes, okay. Desktop, bonus. And about spiller, first time. B meshes. Uh, we don't need to create material. We create it manually. Local import text is needed. Import. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter. Just leave it. Okay, this is our pillar right here. Hope the height and everything works fine. Anyway, I am going to create the default landscape. Okay, so we don't have to work in the air. So, manage is called to new life create. Okay, if I drag and drop to report, then save Dodge one farts are nice. Okay, if I click play, the builder is smaller. What? Okay, I think it's the right height. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna um, arrange everything at first. Okay. Sorry, we have to import everything, right? I'm going to import everything. Let's open. No, we don't need to create materials. Okay, import. What all? 
clear up cross it save again okay okay i'm gonna duplicate this pillar sorry then i'm gonna replace it with the arch uh, here i'm gonna place it on the top like this I'm gonna I don't need to place it here. Then I will duplicate this one. Okay, then I will duplicate this arch again and then I will replace it with this uh winter winter winter. Like this, no No, save all. Okay. No, I am going to select everything. And I will duplicate by hold down. Hold down R. Sorry, sorry, Alt key. Okay. Like this, like this, like this. Or maybe we should, uh, sorry, keep it like this. Without any gaps. Okay, guys. Uh, view 3D. Welcome to stream. Someone subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. Anyway, I'm not sure. I forgot to check. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate these mm, pillars. I'm gonna do the same. more time i'm gonna duplicate okay. we'll select these then we'll Same thing, I'm going to select these. Wow. I'm gonna duplicate few times, okay? The okay, I think it's enough. Maybe one more time. Nice, right? One more time, I'm going to replace this pillar. Okay, I'm going to save everything right here. You can pop up this uh, by control um, plus space, okay? 
പ്ലേ സ്റ്റേഷൻ ഗെയിം വർക്ക് ഇൻഡ് സ്ട്രീം ബ്രോ ഡു യു വർക്ക് ഇൻ എ ഗെയിം കമ്പനി നോ ബ്രോ ഐ എം ജസ്റ്റ് എ ഫ്രീലാൻസർ ഓക്കേ ഐ വിൽ സെലക്ട് എവറി തിങ് ഓക്കെ സെലക്ട് എവ് സെലക്ട് ദിസ് വൺ ടു ദിസ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ഐ വിൽ മേക്ക് എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് right click uh, we have this group option here so we don't need to click all, one by one every time like this i'm going to select this i'm going to duplicate the whole thing to the left side by uh, alt okay then i will flip it uh, vertically wait to check I'm gonna try, I'm going to transform mirror, mirror Y, I think. Yes, I think so. I'll get mirror Y. Okay, then I'm gonna change this sun here on the left side. Okay. സെലക്ട് ദിസ് പാർട്ട് the name gonna rotate it by holding alt key okay for 90 degree now we'll move it like this Yeah. I'll duplicate one more time, place it here, 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 okay, then move it to this location. one here another here another one here <coughs> okay like that okay then you can uh, lock this group thing I'm going to save it again. Okay, no. No, no. We need to add this uh, window part. Right? Sorry. I'm going to place it here. maybe want to snap to the uh, what is it called okay snap the position grid okay we will start from here okay almost here I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, snap toggle this in. Okay. I'm going to select both of them, then I will place like this. We will add a windows letter, okay? Once we finish this arranging. Like this. Okay. 
ए सेट अगेन आई एम गोना मूव इट टू द डुप्लीकेट टू द टॉप अगेन लाइक दिस ए मॉड्यूलर पार्ट सर सो इजी टू इजी फॉर दिस फॉर गट इट सॉरी ओके आई एम गोना सेलेक्ट एवरीथिंग एंड मेक ए ग्रुप ओके ग्रुप नेल डुप्लीकेट ओके आई विल सेव इट अगेन आर यू डेवलपिंग योर ओन गेम के ब्रो दैट वाज माय ड्रीम बट हॉनेस्टली यू कैन डू इट टोल्ड बाय योरसेल्फ it will uh, actually you can do it but you need patience which i don't it will take so much uh, your time oh shit i'm going to uh, duplicate this okay maybe turn more time you yeah, you need to sorry If I have to do everything by all yourself, shit. I'm holding down shift every time. Uh, you have to use the alt key, okay, to duplicate meshes. Uh, yes, bro. You have to uh, do it yourself, uh, like the animation, like the coding, like the environment design. Dosan, welcome. To, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to stream. Okay, this will be our roof. Something called roof. Okay. Ah oh, shit. Maybe we need to. Adjust the high roof of the height. Height of the roof. Okay. Okay. We actually we don't care the exterior part. Okay. We care about only this uh, interior part. So we it doesn't matter how it looks. for for this uh, environment so i am going to duplicate uh, sorry i am going to unlock this part okay a little bit like then i will duplicate this one and then like this I'm gonna make another copy of this wall, then move it to the other side of the pyramid. Che, sorry. 
not pyramid uh, palace okay i think we closed everything then i'm gonna look these groups one save everything okay we check the photo okay you need to adjust a little bit Okay, I will arrange this part later. So now uh, I'm gonna add this. Uh, sorry, add the windows here. We unlock um, this one. Okay, I'm gonna select this window. Change the path to this one here. Maybe um here here. I'm gonna replace it to the windows. Okay. D game seller broken to stream. So for this uh, top part, uh, okay, I will add only these two areas, okay. Then we will close the group. Mm, control space to save everything. Sorry, open up the menu. Now we gonna select the sunlight. Or maybe arrange the two. Like this. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to create the materials. Okay, here. Mm, no, it is. Right click on this uh, material folder. Uh, material, I'm gonna code it to white for the pillars. Okay, save it. Open the material. Okay, hold on three. Okay, three then plus uh, left click and connect this to this base color. Uh, then hold on S for the scalar parameter. I'm gonna call it use it for the roughness. Okay, roughness. I'm gonna uh, change the value to default value into one for now. Then connect to roughness. I'm gonna um, convert this color to parameter so we can use it to say. Uh, you sorry you see it inside uh, materials since okay so your 3 d classes was not helping me as any thanks to sorry no thanks I'm glad i could help bro welcome to stream again i'm going to convert this to parameter so we can use it uh, inside uh, material instance Okay, I'm gonna change this default color also to white. Okay, you can change it later. Uh, then spectral, we don't need that. That thing I'm gonna change the default value for roughness to 0.5 anyway. Again, you can change it later. Okay, I'm gonna we can apply it. Uh, the J2K, welcome to the stream. 
ടേൺ ഡൗൺ ദ ബേസസ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഓഡിയോ ബാസ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഓഡിയോ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഇറ്റ്സ് കമ്മിങ് ഫ്രം മൈ മഹത് ബ്രോ ഓക്കെ വിൽ ഹലോ ഓക്കെ ഐ വിൽ റെഡ്യൂസ് ദ വോളിയം ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് മോർ okay hope it is uh, working fine so i'm going to save it again uh then i will close then open this material i'm going to convert create a material instance okay like this now white i'm going to then i will use white code to white instance save it okay then i will open this mesh folder and open this pillar here leave it like this uh, select this material white instance i am going to check this uh, material so okay this will be the gold section i am going to use it for the what I say, sorry, this one will be the gold section. This is the white. So, I am going to select the material here. Then, I will click this button. Okay. See, use selected asset from the content browser. Okay. See, so, yeah, yeah. now we have added the white material for the pillar. okay now again we have to create a gold material so i'm going to open the material white material then i will add an extra so i'm going to add this metallic option okay so i'm going to hold on s then rename to മെറ്റാലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക്ലിക
yes and change to room maybe a little bit italic no no we don't need it point one maybe nope nope we don't need metallic zero respect point one for roughness okay guys don't forget to like share and subscribe so we have added the materials for the pillar for now for the um arch right yes open it select the materials uh slate face it gold okay now we have to add this gold color here see Now no for the window part. Open the mesh folder. Open the. Okay, we have uh, only this white material slot. So I'm gonna apply it. White is too bright, right? Yeah. Look. Uh, white and gold is perfect color combination so i'm gonna uh, save everything i think we need to add the floor right okay so we take thing we can use this uh, box okay so thanks for the 40 rupees super chat bro thank you bro thank you very much okay bro thank you so much Kalki. do i know you bro okay again sorry anyway i'm gonna um, duplicate uh, this one right here to use as a floor like this then maybe I should uh, delete the landscape here okay okay then I'm gonna duplicate this floor right here to this side maybe this side also okay now i'm gonna um, now i'm gonna save everything once more time one more time now we need to find this uh, um, floor to it. I will change the wall texture also. It, it, uh, some wall here. Find this in browse. Browse to asset. Okay. Now I'm going to open this uh, window right here. Sorry, wall right here. And change the material to white. Okay. Okay, I'm going to change the floor color, okay? Sorry, floor texture. Okay. Okay, I think we forgot to UV unwrap the texture. Sorry, this uh, wall, right? This wall, right? So, anyway, I'm going to go to the browser here Arian Tabib studio welcome to stream oh hi bro i'm gonna go to this textures.com 
behavior materials you can see okay tile floor let me see if they have the tile option so we can I'll show you ornament panel see we, uh, we can use it uh, in the ceiling maybe this are wood I'm gonna check the marble tiles okay maybe it's some pattern or something marble tiles oh, marble slab floors marble tiles it is can maybe wall floor on the floor ground concrete thing should be in tiles or floor Yes, I think we can use this or this sun or this sun. <coughs> Let me check on small or we can use this one. Or this sun, I think this is better. Okay, open it to Okay Wait, it's too much I think I will go back to the top What about this sun? Yeah, we'll check. But this only five to low, okay. Not exercise. So before we do that, now we need. Could we download this from here? We will check desktop uh, wireless top stairs. EAF hope it works. I mean, on the hope it hope Unreal Engine support the format. Let me check. Uh, I can't export like that. Import text base. Yes, it's okay. It's working fine. Okay, I'm gonna download the rest of the files here. Some we need a roughness. Okay, we don't need height. Uh, we be I'm going to push it also. Okay. So I think we need to uh, go to 3ds Max again. We need to undrop uh, this floor UV, okay? Uh, also, we need to duplicate this white material sorry duplicate this one and change to little bit black
with the roughness. And uh, not that, the little stuff. And don't metallic. So we can use this uh, window, right? Uh, Here is it, browse just it. Open this uh, window. Open the materials, uh, white will be in this why it will be in this part nope okay it will be here so the black material will be for this one this one also okay uh, i think we planned i think i forgot to change the this uh, steel texture sorry material okay so i'm gonna keep uh, i'm gonna add this gold material here for that part okay like this see i forgot to change the material of this this sign right here it's okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna open the pro our project right here then i will open this add unwrap UV. Then select everything by pressing Ctrl A. Then go to this mapping, flatten mapping. Press OK. Okay. Okay. Then I will collapse to all. Then move to this center. Then export. Okay. Put select on desktop panel system wall to right. Then, if we browse to asset, then right click on it, uh, reboot. Okay, save all here in this material. I'm going to move this to textures over here and I'm going to import the rest of the textures like this save all maybe I need to change this normal map uh, white channel flip green channel save it save everything in the material section we are going to create new material called the floor okay floor save it open it um, the text is i'm gonna okay sure. import to this one okay connect to base color i'm going to import to press to the textures normal to normal roughness to roughness okay wait i'm going to multiply this roughness so we can so we can uh, adjust the values uh, later, okay? Like this. Okay, so I'm gonna add a UV. So hold on U, press M to multiply, then press S to scale, okay? 
you can scale the texture size right here like this then connect to this to every map okay okay default value i'm gonna add to one and i will apply it save it um head here and tabby studio okay do you use the hello bro welcome to stream okay is that material i'm gonna create a material instance called floor instance save it so since we already use this uh, white material for this floor i'm gonna uh, select this material and uh, drop put wait now we have this material options for right here or somewhere Dance. Okay, I think we need to drag and drop the material like this. Okay, wait. Group and look. This six material override. Where is the material option for this model? general rendering virtual texture i don't know anyway i'm going to groups then i will open the material instance again uh, scale it to two I think we don't know we have to uh, dock in layout okay I'm gonna lock this uh, window to play out we have to place it manually It's the drag and drop okay i couldn't find any material section here yes i think we can uh, shit, we have this material oh wait see i don't see any material option for this model okay so we have to just uh, drag and drop oh because we have already uh, used this model as our wall okay so we can't change it inside also okay like shit Okay, we'll flip the see this thing here. I think we should delete this. No, save everything first and delete this uh, okay so i'm gonna delete this also that's all then i will move this one to here and i will duplicate 
then i will run mirror to y yes and i will i will duplicate one more time and i will turn so mirror to y again so it will see so it will these are two parts of it will merge without any seams so now i'm gonna close this one 3ds max I'll save it so i think we are now in the lighting part okay If I type light in here, I'm gonna disable the sunlight. Sorry, skylight or delete it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna change this uh, material settings to double sided. Okay, sorry, two sided. Apply it. Save it. Also for the floor. Or is the light will uh, come th pass through the walls and everything. Save it. something wrong then we don't have the shadows right so if I go to this uh, add the this button then lights uh, point lights it will delete it mm, the direction light settings associationally no, over something wrong i think for the lighting part i think it's with the post process volume feature post process volume we disable it yep let's start with the post process volume anyway i'm going to enable it in more time and below it's not in here uh, infinite okay maybe it's with the exposure settings here local exposure Then uh, I think it's a local exposure. Detail, not local exposure. We have this exposure here. We don't need a one. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to change it to two. Nope, nope. I'm going to change it to four point four. No, no, no. Not thing someone subscribe. Wait. 
Okay, P30, welcome to the stream. Wait, I will disable this post process. Oh, shit, we actually we need it. So, why the hell? Wait, we have this exponential flow, right? I disable it. It happens. Writing sky atmosphere, sky sphere. Volumetric cloud. We don't need volumetric clouds, so I want to delete it. Sky atmosphere. Post processor. Something wrong with the post processor. Maybe ambient cube map or something. Yes. We don't need a cube map. If I enable it again, See, it doesn't work. If I enable the cube map again, see, that is a problem. Ah, oh, shit. I finally we found it, guys. So I am gonna rotate this uh, rotate our sunlight here. What? Okay. We will rotate the sunlight. Okay. We are. Uh, Sunlight. Okay, where is the temperature uh, intensity? Source angle one. Nope. Light color. How do we change the light intensity? The fuck? See, uh, we have this. Okay, okay, I found it. So here I am gonna um, go to this post process volume, then I'm gonna change this uh, exposure settings minimum and maximum. I'm gonna change it to. 0.5 maybe point three uh, then we will add a basic point light here okay right here with this uh, yellow color maybe is to look make it like uh, make the light coming from a lamp or something you know, yellow light okay maybe for intensity Then we will uh, change the fog settings. Okay, fog settings, fog intensity to one. Point five. So 
change the radius settings sit where light color attenuation radius one here I'm gonna add one more light here okay then before I will add one more window right here okay unlock this uh, group here and I will browse to asset then add a how do I replace all asset one more window maybe okay then I will lock the group uh, right this save all option okay then maybe we should change the light and density to 5 if I change it to 5 look one more window maybe here okay and i will lock this again okay the maybe the light color to white completely then change the sun direction here also this uh, floor material to floor material reflection to sorry roughness should be point uh, one maybe Okay, I'm going to change the position here. Make this okay. So you guys can see the okay, like this. Thing we need to change the uh, color right color of the floor right like oh this uh, little bit yellow so I'm gonna change the color of the texture right here hold on three okay then add a multiply by holding down M <coughs> not multiply sorry we need Add a over add an overlay so type overlay. Okay, right click on this here. Okay, right click here. Type overlay blend overlay. See, choose it uh, and connect to this. And connect to this. Connect to this result and convert to this one to a uh, parameter. Okay, and maybe change the color here for default option. And apply 
it guys don't forget to like share, share subscribe okay you can check save all then we can change the color here we change the box sorry cylinder we change it see a little bit brighter maybe if we Okay. I change the roof. No, no. Okay, we will change the roof texture. Okay. So here we have. We are. I'm gonna change the direction settings a little bit. Mm, more little shadow, nope, 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 nope. Light mass, light shaft, life, sorry, light shaft, blue. Bloom scale. <laughs> Maybe I should add on more window here for to get more light inside. Okay, browse the asset. Change it to okay. We need more windows for the light, guys. So add a few more windows. Okay, then then save it. Okay, we have to change the fog setting exponential fog. Uh, okay, here we have one. I think we need to add a new fog. So Right here in this button, we have this visual effects uh, exponent shift for. So, in here, I'm gonna change to one maybe. Yes, then I'm gonna change the height fall off like this. Uh, start distance. No, we don't need that. Where is the color? Sunlight. Okay. No, we will change point two, three, sorry, four. Actually, we don't need fog, right? This much so you need one. Okay, and one more thing, we have to add this uh, sphere reflection capture thing. See, okay. you can see the difference if I turn it off. So I change the influence radiance. Like this. Why I am seeing an yellow color? All this because of this texture looks like yellow. Okay, even if after I change the color, uh, change the brightness or this reflection a little bit. So now. Okay, have it. Now we have to add a limited close on cinematic nope. lights. I actually like going light. Mm. 
okay in the post process volume you have to change a few settings okay post process like uh, we don't need i think we should go to one right no point point five point five or point six okay okay little bit blue method standard intensity Maybe if I a shoulder minus okay, then then we have the stuff with a low temperature feeling. cube map we don't need it and be in the quotient density radius motion blur Okay, maybe a little bit saturation for the scene. What about two? Uh, one point one and uh, color correction, maybe. No, no, no. One point one is enough. Thirty four color. I need the shadows film. White clip, black soap, tracing. There is an option uh, vignette. Where is it? Highlights, metro shadow. Johan, we click the stream, bro. Hey, bro. Okay. I think I uh, couldn't find that settings. Where is it? Temperature. I think you can search right. Weak. Yes, weakness. Mobile depth of field image effect. Okay, it's an, it has an image effect. Okay, we need to change this uh, material color anyway. Okay, to all the right, maybe change the point five. No, no, point one.
okay now we are how to change the uh, roof texture sorry ceiling texture so for that i'm gonna <coughs> go back to oh, here again uh, floor right we'll show the floor and ceiling texture also Or I should search for tiles. Okay, no tile. PBR materials tiles. I saw something earlier. Uh, maybe a, a panel or something. This is some. We can use. Okay, render. I have to download this. Uh, this one. Okay, I'm going to download this. Okay. Extends folder. I need normal map. Roughness here. And here. Okay, I'm going to import it into our project. Import everything. Save all and I'm going to open the material for floor. And I'm going to uh, convert this to a parameter. Call this B. This one to N. And this one by R. Okay, I have to convert to this to parameter. Parameter is already parameter, right? Yes. Apply. Uh, hey, dude, following you since 2017, you are amazing. Brand new lot for me. Hey, thanks for all. Uh, for following me and learned a lot from you. Thanks for my hands. It's okay. I'm going to save everything. I'm going to do okay. open this for yeah. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this uh, floor material and I call roof or not roof ceiling, right? Okay. Open it. And I want to change the materials. Okay, like this. Uh, drag and drop everything. Roughness here. And I want to flip this uh, texture green channel. Save it. And I'm gonna here. And change scale roughness to one, okay. Default value. I'm going to save it. Mm, open the material again. Material. Flip the instance. Okay. We have this uh, show light. Right. You can change like this. This one is uh, one mesh, so I can't ch in change the materials inside. So I have to do it manually. Okay. Okay. Like
okay i'm not gonna change it to the other side okay so if i go to the render change the render to light okay you can see that right and I, if i change the texture size to one maybe two it's fine No, 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 we need to do okay. No roughness, scale. No. Undo the color option here. I don't need to change the material color. I'm going to save everything. Uh, Pierce, I'm going to stream, bro and here i'm gonna see i forgot i didn't add this thing this chandelier thing okay i think i need to change the gold color right gold color see this one here Change the metallic to point seven, maybe roughness to point six, and it looked like a shit, so I will change it to one uh, metallic to one. I think I need to change the color. No, 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 I can't see point one metallic one. Point four maybe yes and change the color little bit like this point five mid roughness and a four is better. Mm, save everything. No, change this floor color. Wait. Do I, okay. Uh, parameter. Okay. If we if we change it to blue, it will change the floor texture pattern. Okay, see, yeah, Shit. from this uh, side, of, it look nice, right? From the sunlight and everything. Okay, I think I need to change the light direction here. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this. Save it. Uh, select the sunlight. Hey, bro, tell me someone subscribe. Anyway, thanks for subscribing. I'm gonna change the light direction to. Oh, it's too nice. See. We change the direction. Maybe here, here, okay, so I'm going to add a few more windows here, okay, and let and group, group sunlock, I'm going to browse it here, change it to this one. Here, this one. 
Then lock the group. Save again. Okay. If we have this uh, different type of rendering option, we have wireframe, detail lighting, uh, lighting only, reflection, blur question, we don't need it. I'm going to go back to light, sort it. Okay, I'm going to delete this. Uh, I think I should delete the landscape and then I don't so new one. Okay, if I change the camera direction to here, oh, it looks so nice. Okay, I'm going to change the light direction to. Here, this one looks so good. Okay, I think we have to change a few more windows here. Like this. Like this. What does it look now? Yep, it is fine, right? We change one more time the direction of light. This looks nice. So if I change the uh, windows right here, I check. No, 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 we don't need it. I'll change to okay. I'm gonna lock the group here also here so here so guys uh, so guys i think we almost did it uh maybe here and there okay Okay, I disable this light or this one. Nope, we need it. Okay, uh, I'm going to stream again, bro. I think the, this yellow thing is because this of this uh, point light. Okay, I'm going to change to white. White color, right? No, I think maybe a little bit yellow. We actually need it. Okay, for the sun. No, no, we need it. Let yellow. This one also. So it will match to this uh, golden part of the models so uh, next uh, okay we need to i think that's it right okay okay good is uh 
we need to change the solimetric uh, scattering intensity if i change it it will yeah where is it where is it solimetric scattering intensity Yep. Also for this uh, sun direction light, I mean the sunlight, we have this scattering intensity, so it will match with this fog right here. Fog density, if I change it to one, doesn't look good. Uh, point. Five again. No, no, no. We don't need actually this fog. Solimetric fog. Nope. We don't need the fog actually. I think. Point one or two. Point one is better. And in the post process volume, we need to add a little bit darkness, maybe. Point seven. Point seven. Point seven, right? And then, then, then. You can add depth of field, okay, if you want to focal distance. See, that looks nice, right? <laughs> okay, we don't need, I think. Okay, we don't need this blur radius. Guys, thanks for subscribing for whoever does it, okay? Guys, I will uh, pack this, I mean, um, give this, yeah, sorry, I will upload this to somewhere and will give you the link later, okay? See, nice, nice, right? Nice background. Okay, I will keep little bit of awareness. Okay, saturation is enough, shadows uh, maybe. Nope, we don't need to. Okay, feeling. Effect. Global illumination. Bloom. No, no, we don't need to play with the rest of the settings. Ray tracing I did it enabled, so we don't need it. I've been going up more. Proportion okay, mushroom blur. We can add a little bit. Okay, trans nope, not tracing nope. Film green nope. Uh, post process, make sure you check this option okay, or else it will be like this once you open the project. So, make sure check this okay. So Okay, I think if I go to add collection, so if I open this now wall, then go to this. Is uh, is ray tracing available? Yes, bro. But make sure you have this uh, RTX graphics card. Okay. Uh, if I go to this collection settings here, or somewhere here, and then change to storm plus collection as symbol. Save it. Okay, also for the I wanna do it for every model. Builder. You can add custom collections you can export, okay? 
see we can use and this one and this for this one Okay, I'm gonna save everything. Then, if I change it to cinematic viewport, it will be like this. So, I will go back inside. And this is our, I should have added a camera, right? here okay save everything go to the default report shit 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 save all mm. okay wait one more time i'm gonna save it save current level I'll do nothing so I will click play okay I'm gonna skip it I think there is this chart thing I don't know why it's not playing okay anyway guys that's it for our palace interior recreation here maybe we should hope you guys like hope you guys like it too okay so if you have any doubts just ask okay i okay uh, um i didn't unwrap the uvs okay i just uh, uh, export from 3ds max is pellets i only unwrapped this floor model so everything is with the default materials i didn't apply any uh textures or something only default materials so I got a cinematic uh, okay bro what's the dimension dimension of Pillar, you mean pillar, bro? Uh, no, I think I made it with the uh, uh, default uh, Unreal Engine character skeleton adjusted with the height and uh, adjusted with the height of the skeleton. Someone subscribe, thanks, bro. Abhi, thanks for subscribing. Okay guys, I will upload this uh, file later somewhere and I will give you the link so you guys can download. So, I think that's it for today. Uh, thanks for joining the stream. We don't have anything to discuss, I think. You can ask something if you want to know anything. Okay. We will do the sorry, we will do more uh, UE5 uh, projects later. I think that's it. Nanny to the trace session. I'm not sure if I click this to look crash or not. Anyway, I'm not going to do this. Civility correction.
పైన యూనిట్ బ్రో ఐ డోంట్ నో ఐ నెవర్ ట్రైడ్ ఇన్ యూనిటీ యాక్చువల్లీ మిస్ జస్ట్ కమెంట్ డౌన్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు నో ఎనిథింగ్ so i think okay the site name is textis.com okay you guys can download textis here from here but you have this uh, daily free um, 15 credits i think you can download 15 textis every day Paid work and streaming is better than the engine for rendering scenes. So it's also support a lot of plugins. Okay bro, I don't know. I don't know Unity actually. I never tried it. I actually tried it. But I don't know. I never. Two Punjabis are watching. I'm in music. Welcome to stream. okay you guys can download this sorry download the textures from here or you can go to the pixel pixel maria scan okay no nope, i'm going to so that's it today so sorry that's it for today hope you guys learned something for unreal engine what are your thoughts on the engine five it's nice bro it's actually they uh, added added a lot more options like uh, i don't know then you can um, learn unreal engine so easily that's why i le- uh, that's why i am using it so also these uh, game developers using unreal engine 5 like uh, tomb raider next tomb raider and uh, witcher 4 they are using unreal engine 5 so there might be a reason they are using it right they do it better than anyone um, i mean uh, peer thanks for the good work yeah go for both i think i should try unity also i had the, i had uh, we need to learn the coding to work inside unity i'm not sure so they are this pubg team they are using unreal engine right so lot of developers are using unreal engine so there must be a good reason for that not even uh, not only pubg thing base gone this uh, star wars jedi from Uh, that game this batman uh, i think hello bro prince prince welcome to stream hello bro guys one more like we will reach 70 like one more two more likes would you sorry would these models work in source engine for cs code customer i'm not i don't know bro uh, i never made a customer for say for cs code guys we reached 70 likes i'm not sure uh, with unreal you can create a server engine and have other creators connect to that 
server with you and you have a lot of creative self creations ego thanks for the information bro i didn't know that you can create a server engine okay that's that's good cod mobile made in unity yeah i think so bro cod mobile they i think they made in unity i think so they made you know i think guys don't forget to like share and subscribe also you like if you like okay if you like gaming you can uh, subscribe my gaming channel link is in the description okay we are robotic people suit to me me battlefield destruction and multiplayer with unreal engine 5 uh, to make frost frost like tension battlefield destruction i'm not sure bro because i don't know the uh i don't know the way to create destruction i'm not sure okay maybe we can do it on real engine 5 i am no still i don't know how to do that cross bait yeah i'm not sure i think that's it guys will okay i'm not trying chaos look beautiful but frostbite destruction is not bad for being hosted online yeah and here you will see the upcoming games will uh, show how far we can go with unreal engine 5 yeah for us it is private right not for public ego is best never to use another person's game unless you can buy a license for to use it if not you could get sued so the best you make your own style game yes so i was wondering if unreal is powerful enough to compete with frostbite i'm um, not sure bro maybe maybe i don't know sherlock melali gada melali ada melali ada sherlock ke dimus day dimus day akad stream bro dande sherlock will come to stream dande will come to stream and real engine is powerful enough I don't know. Anna, Sherlock, hey, where are the Sarah? Where are the? Ego, oh yeah, it can depending on your creativity. Yes. Sherlock, can you run? Oh, okay. Welcome to stream again. So. Sam, sometimes I don't know. So maybe what if they? No, Trivand or Tadas, okay. What if they announce next Battlefield the Thunder Engine Five? Maybe, maybe Uncharted Five. I don't know. It's possible, I think. No, Trivand or Tadas, okay. someone subscribe was what's on remand thanks for subscribing it was pretty stable even back then also also on remand player 
which one bro battlefield yeah but it is so hard to play but too many pro players okay red faction guerrilla geo mode engine destruction was also pretty red faction guerrilla is that an engine bro geo mode engine what what game they made with this engine I have never heard of it anyway. Games was Red Faction Guerrilla. Oh, I never heard of it. But for if you look up on your YouTube how to share servers in Unreal, there was a tool on how to it almost like play Minecraft but in tutorial they explain okay by the way I'll sure I'll check it bro. GMod was a good game engine. What do you mean by was? They stopped working or something? I, I think I should cause the stream. It's raining here. Okay. I will upload this project somewhere. Okay. So you can download it. For beginners, it's best to learn Blender, Unity, or Unreal Engine 5. Bro, uh, Blender, uh, Blender is a 3D modeling program and uh, VFX program. But Unreal and Unity is a game developing program. You can't create a game inside a Blender. I think, right? I think so. Yes, you can't. For architecture, I know. I am not a Blender user. I should learn Blender, I think. For FPS multiplayer, I want to make a model for CSGO. And um, models for CSGO. Bro, even Blender is good, bro. You can use Blender, Maya, or 3ds Max. Every uh, program has its own features. So, uh, programs uh, doesn't matter, it's your skill matter. So, even if you use uh, some what, simple programs, it doesn't matter. Guys, I think I should stop the stream. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned from today's lesson so thanks for joining the stream and i will see you next time okay guys bye jan blender is here and Good stream, Sam. Thanks for okay, guys. I'm gonna end the stream. Thanks for joining. Good thing about if they connect to your to yours, you will not lose any asset creations. But if your fellow creator does, then you will have to start over from scratch. Okay, bro, I will check this um, server creation. I will check it. I will sure check it. Okay, guys, thanks for joining the stream. Bye, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, guys.